with the revelations about... Um, the larger issue is the inconsistency between his acknowledgement that we need to cut emissions from fossil fuels by some 40% in the next six years, and the plans that his country has to expand oil and gas production to the tune of 150 billion investment over that same time frame. So. Um, there's a lack of trust already out there among some group. Uh, that's the fundamental conflict, and that is not personal to Dr. Al Jaber. That is endemic in the business plan of the host country. And so that's the real question, I think, going into the second week. Um, because you can talk all you want about carbon capture and hydrogen and direct air capture and other uh, technical solutions, but they're off in the distant future. Um, the Emirates is pushing very hard for recognition of, uh, of fossil fuel phase down rather than phase out, and I think that uh, the COP president is going to have to be much more flexible on that because we know that a, a, a fossil fuel phase out is needed, not a phase down, and we know that uh, what he's pushing for on the phase down is simply window dressing increased oil and gas production. I think the risk was always there and the press revelations reinforced the concerns that many had about the risk of a massive greenwashing exercise at this COP. Um, I think the, the evidence seems to be very strong and despite the denials of the presidency, uh, it seems to be the case that's been going on.